In this lesson, we're going to work on our third icon. So just as before, all I have to do is go to my Arbor tool, just press Alt and Shift while dragging, and make sure that I move it right there where my grid is. I'm going to delete the ambulance because I'm going to create a whole new different icon. Let's go and create an ellipse. So we're going to make it with a width and height of 20. Again, make sure that the stroke is aligned to the inside. Let's create another ellipse. This one is going to be a smaller, 10. And we can align them by selecting both of them, clicking again on the big one to make it a key object, and then go horizontal and vertical align center. Now I'm gonna, there are several ways that I can go and create what I'm going to be doing here, which is a stethoscope. But we can either use circles or use my pen tool. So I'm going to show you how you can do it with the pen tool. So let's go to our pen tool and press P. Let's make a line that goes from the circle to the bottom. And then another one that goes here. And another point that goes around here. So now you can see how that line is getting there. And for now, it is in the middle of the grid, but that is fine because we're going to fix that. Now let's go and create a rectangle that is around this size. Make sure that the stroke is on the inside. And what we're going to do is round the corners all the way to the center, just like this. Now we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So I select the bottom anchor points with my direct selection tool and move them to pixels to the top. Now I'm going to press Alt and Shift while I drag to create a copy. And release it. So now that I have that, I'm going to go back to my pen tool by selecting it or pressing P on my keyboard. And then let's go and make a line there, another one here, and all the weight to the middle. So we have something like this. And let's select everything from the circle with my direct selection tool and move it a little bit to the bottom. Now I'm going to run my corners on this area on the bottom. You can see how they are right there. Maybe I put this one a little bit to the right. So I'm going to move everything to the left. And then round it. So when I'm seeing this, I'm, I'm trying to find a point where I'm going to like this stethoscope to be. So I have something like this, now it's time for to round the other part. So maybe not something that extreme, maybe something like this. Or let's actually first begin with this other round corner. So we make sure that everything is going to be consistent. So as we find something we like, we can move the anchor point here to bring that. Now let's go to our reflect tool by pressing all on or selecting it, place the point right there and just press all and shift to create a copy. So right there you have your copy that is a reflection of the original that you had there. So let's move this one, everything to pixels to the right or to the left using my arrow keys. And I could also decrease the size of the circles a little bit, so it's a little bit smaller. Maybe move this one a little bit to the top, or not. You can keep experimenting until you find something that you like. In the case of this stethoscope, because it's only a line, you have to make sure that everything looks consistent. So I think this is looking fine and we have our icon. We can move it a little bit to the right to have it centered with our 
artboard and I again press Ctrl Shift S so you can see it and when you see that when I zoom out all the curves are getting a little fuzzy but not that much and if I go and scale it down you can still retain all the detail. So in the next lesson we're going to work on our next icon.